cultural bias so the term cultural bias refers to the bias committed by uh, people like you and me by interpreting somebody else's culture through the standards of our own culture remember the cultural relativism which i just explained cultural relativism is an idea that cross comparison between the culture is not appropriate don't use our own standard to judge others culture right so the bias committed therein is called cultural bias one example would be many years back in 2009 my in my first visit to the united kingdom right in the center of london i went to a museum called victoria and albert's museum very famous museum the na uh, you know the entry i still remember full of jewels gold right so the curator of that museum helped me to to find different places so she took me around uh, to gothic section right and uh, uh, renaissance gallery impressionistic gallery where i can see uh, pictures of like uh, people like picasso and all uh, you know uh, yeah so very interesting greek gallery they had different kinds of gallery then i asked her how about indian many of the uh, you know indian treasures like kohinoor uh, you know a crown of kohinoor or kohinoor diamond were kept in london isn't it of course kohinoor is not kept in vienna it is in the tower museum under the tower bridge you know the, the same one one of the tower bridge has got the tower of the tower with the london bridge right has got the museum the tower museum it has the uh, kohinoor is kept there so what happened is that the lady told me that unfortunately british don't consider indian art as an art it's a mediocrity isn't it it's an insult i felt really insulted she said it's kept under and it's classified under archaeology and natural history along with the arts from african subcontinent what an insult it is it's it's you know it's a textbook example of cultural bias you know it's typical mindset of colonialistic imperialistic uh, thinking you know so they think that only the europeans have the best art while the art from other locations are not mediocre art you see even today if you go to victorian albert museum you can see this mindset and this is all because of the cultural bias you know another example would be world map if you look any kind of world map okay think of it world map what kind of image comes to your mind close your eyes think of a world map so most probably the map which is coming to your mind is a map with north up orientation that is northern hemisphere is on the north that is up and right at the center of the northern hemisphere you can see england is it natural have you ever thought that this map is natural it's not natural it is basically a map devised by the british imperialist to highlight to underscore their power you know they are the very powerful people so this world map was popular during the uh, european imperialism of uh, 17th century onwards you know so that is what the north as powerful is everywhere it's very common for example if i ask you about a typical organizational hierarchy the power chart of an organization for example here in, in a university system the top part is going to be vice chancellor then deans then professors then associate and assistant and finally non teaching staff entry level worker is going to be the the bottom while uh, the person with maximum power is going to be on top so the north is typically associated with power even in chimpanzee please check out my book life skills for an in depth coverage of this topic so the north as powerful you know so that mindset because of that they want to emphasize the imperialist want to emphasize and that is the reason why north up world map became super popular around the world and plus the britain at the center of the map center of the north you know 
but actually what if i twist that map south up is it is it correct you might think of oh, south up world map is nonsense you know it is highly inaccurate but friends it is as accurate as north up world map so south up means the inverted map in which the 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 on the top, topmost continent would be antarctica while just bottom would be arctic it's as accurate as the north up you know why you go to the space like if you are in the international space station the orientation of the earth randomly changes as they drift up you know so it's sometime it is the north is up sometime north or the the arctic is not really on the up it it becomes on the left side right side or the inverted arctic could be right at the bottom and antarctic could be on the top so there is nothing like north or south if you are observing the earth from the space you know uh, uh, yes yeah, so uh, there is yet another projection not just uh, the you know the cartesian projection so projection is that one way to convert this kind of the world right it's a, it's a globe it's a typical globe the world globe right so this is accurate the maximum accurate depiction is this three dimensional globe so if you want to actually project this one into a two dimensional space you need to do some kind of projection right cartesian projection is a standard projection now there is yet another projection called dimaxian projection so it's by the buckminster fuller you know the, the, you might know the c60 right carbon 60 fuller in the, the molecule is named after fuller so fuller is a is an american scientist who design is a designer and he's a polymath actually you know so he made this projection to get rid of this bias of course south up is actually equally good projection you know dimaxian projection is also very nice projection and uh, yeah so uh, the fuller famously said that in the universe there is no north or south there is not even up or down so all in the universe is just in and out what is this in and out into a gravitational field and out of it only that is real all the rest is bias you know so the gist of this talk is that whenever you come across anything just question yourself is it because of the bias is there any cultural bias involved and don't make any sweeping generalization on somebody else's culture by using the standards of your own culture and uh, yeah so cultural bias is very important uh, beware of the cultural bias and beware of the cultural relative some the idea so that your intercultural communications can be substantially improved thank you for listening